Here's what you missed on Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. on My Country 96.1. It's the bald and the beautiful. Everything from Nashville to Hollywood on My Country 96.1. All right, Candy, we start with Dolly Parton, who's donated a million dollars to Vanderbilt University Medical Center. She is always there when needed. She has done a lot of good in this world. Love you, Dolly. Yes, she is the queen. Well done. She's got a very special relationship with a doctor over there, and uh, she wanted it to go there, and good for her. Um, the person I'm about to name is okay. I don't want you to get scared. Loretta Lynn has been on lockdown for a couple of months. She's battled some health issues, as you know, Candy. Yes, I do know that. Uh, her doctors were way ahead of this. Her people said, listen, you got to stay inside. And she's getting a little cranky, just like you, because she's got a book to promote that comes out next Tuesday, Candy. Ah, uh, yes. Cranky is as cranky does. Yes. Uh, sad news. There is a uh, wonderful songwriter, singer, um professional musician Adam Schlesinger who passed away at 52 from the coronavirus um, he was one of the founders of the band Fountains of Wayne out of Wayne New Jersey yes and he also besides Stacy's mom which was a huge hit for them and some other things he wrote a ton of music for movies and television and comedians and different things and his most famous probably for uh, awards and such and one of my favorite songs that he wrote was the title track to the movie that thing you do great song mm, was infectious really made the yeah. whole movie yeah and really and good. uh you know he passes at 52 very sad and very sad so sorry to hear that just another reason everyone's got to stay in um Allie Wentworth, who's 55, she's an actress, says she's got coronavirus and her symptoms have been very tough with the fever and breathing. She is the wife of George Stephanopoulos. Well, I wish her a speedy recovery. I hope you don't get it, George. You got work to do. Yeah, I mean, they're together, so you know what's coming, right? I mean, it's... Mm, uh, scary, scary. Uh, the people who run Wimbledon and the British Open Golf Tournament have canceled for the first time since World War II. Uh, I don't think it's going to be played. They're pushing it off and uh, just canceling the whole thing, I believe, is from what I read. Uh, Taylor Swift donating three months of salary and health care for Grimey's in Nashville. It's a very famous record store. All the employees, uh, she wants to take care of all of them. So For three months. For three months, yeah. Correct. For, for now. For now. Maybe, maybe she'll donate more. You don't maybe. like Taylor. What's up um, with this? You have a thing about her. I'm starting to get turned off by her, uh, but let's not discuss it today. Let's stay positive. She's very giving, this this woman. Very but everything giving. everything she does, we read about the next day. She can't I just, do anything without it being in the press. Dolly Parton put out a press release about her million dollars. Every artist is putting out things about their money. What? You have a thing against Taylor Swift. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't like it. I do. Right, I you know what? Get over this. I'm glad tomorrow's our last day of the week, and then we have the weekend to <laughs> separate because I can't handle this. All right, Marcus Smart of the Boston Celtics has recovered from coronavirus. Uh, he is now donating his blood plasma because it contains antibodies that could fight off coronavirus for other so people. So interesting. I know two other people who are thinking of doing that as well. Yeah, that's uh, what doctors say. Once you fight it off, your blood plasma becomes like gold candy and can really... Wow help other people. Uh, Karina Smirnoff uh, had a baby boy. She's a dancer from Dancing with the Stars. Do we know who she's married to? Uh, I don't. I do not. And right. uh, I'm sure if we saw the name, we'd be like, oh yeah, that's who she's married to. Maybe it's another dancer. I don't know. Um, Taranji P. Henson, another person that had to cancel their wedding candy. So sad. I'm so sorry for everyone, but mostly for me. <laughs> uh, hey, Long Island, at least she's honest, huh? <laughs> Tonight on TV, there's a new sitcom called Broke. It's at 930 on CBS, and it stars Pauly Perrette, who used to be on NCIS. Kim. We all loved her. I had to see that. We did. As a matter of fact, my daughter, Abigail, uh, I thought of the name for a few reasons, partly because the last three letters in her name end with Leah backwards. Abigail, oh, L-I-A yeah. backwards. That's one of the reasons we came up with it, but also uh, because of Pauly Perrette, because she played Abby on NCIS. I love it. 
And I remember watching the movie Little Miss Sunshine with Abigail Breslin. Is that her name? She was so cute, yes. And all those reasons... I suggested the name Abigail, and then we said, you know what, let's name, I know I'm, t I'm sidetracked here, but let we said, let's name our daughter Abigail also because the last three letters are Leah backwards, and then when we named Elijah, we said, ooh, Elijah has the letters L-I-A in it as well, so all our kids are linked, you see, Candy. It's unbelievable. Isn't that nice? Oh, uh, boy. Great. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that... <laughs> Is that not uh, an interesting story? It's so interesting. I can't wrap my head around it with all of that. I hate you. <laughs> Gr Grey's Anatomy is on tonight. Tommy, the show Tommy is on. Who, who stars in that? Uh, Edie Falco, right? Yes, yeah. yes. And Law and & Order SVU. There you go. You're bald and the beautiful. Everything from Nashville to Holly. Fathead and Candy in the morning. Weekdays, 6 to 10 a.m. On My Country 96.1.